I still need to get those control cores from the Grimhorns with So. I should let her know I'm here. Machines resistant to fire.
this is not gonna end well for you, Outlander! Sneaky! Check if there's anything in the lock around here. trouble. figure out what to do with them later. what I can do with this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stemmer, did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city. Where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below, and in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way, locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. Your timing couldn't be better. Over here! Aloy, oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air. Or, will be soon. Greatness, huh? 
Behold, I call it Morland's Amazing Elevating Orb. Inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk use for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design, old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy, it's perfect for the orb, but a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? Please? Okay, Morland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you! Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> swim down. Okay, there's the giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. The ruin should be nearby. Oh. 
Bridgewater won't do me any favors here. Looks like the place. No borrowers, though. And that must be the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. Get to the upper level. Maybe I can find something to stand on. There's a crate in that room. How to get to it? A vent. All this sweat, and I'm still not cooling off. to reach the statue.
Spellcaster won't work on that. Catch a break from this heat. Now to get the burner. Uh, huh. Made it. I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Burner Wars. Might have been the ones that attacked Moreland.
I'm in the right place. Now, where's that gizmo? There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin, see if I can find anything that might help.
come in. Maybe my focus can help here. Got it. Time to head back up to Stemmer. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. Hmm. I don't think there's another way into the ruin out here. Maybe there's something I missed back inside. The Nora returned, but did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, a keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's 
Called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. <sighs> you know, some delvers tapped a ruin north of here recently and said they saw a trinket like this one, beyond their reach. Might have been another one of these ornaments. That's worth looking into. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event. And so does every feast in the claim. There's the Feast of the First Keg, the Feast of Fermentation, the All Hops Feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. It might be able to turn on the lights. Hmm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? I want to see this one. And so the wordsmith set out to bring new light to the ruins above. As sure as sparks kindle flame, this must have been some kind of winter festival. But what kind of beast is that? Here, brother. Almost looks like a fang horn. Let me know if you find any more of those ornaments. Wonder what other holidays the old ones celebrated. Oving and forging do not guarantee success. Brewing ale does. You're back! Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Yes! Yes! Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, oh, time to give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell me I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh yeah! The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violent and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, oh, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. With simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. <laughs> you know, 
of Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram Poetry started his work songs in portals around the claim. <laughs> Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> this feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What was that? Ah, uh, yeah. I think our tether just came undone. Moreland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small step back. Nothing to worry about! They can fix this! They can fix it! They can... in danger. I have to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. He just with no one stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland! I'll get you out! Aloy! Great gears, you're alive. Oh, I can definitely find a use for this. Hey, you alright? Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... It's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Ah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I, mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. Do you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Ah! 
You've returned. Shall we get back to it? Sorry, there was something I needed to do. You were talking before I left? Now, as I was saying before. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Oh. Hey, Loy. Would you mind finding a way across? I think Maybe I found us a bridge. To bridge the gap. <laughs> Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm burn. Ah, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as all ever, be. Possibly right through the
It's dead. Aloy, hey, uh, over here? I'll save this for a diary. When you have a moment. Sorry, had to go deal with something. You were talking about something before I left. Steel to my soul. Oh. Oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Or really fancied my orb. Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb, something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. I have so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland.
fire's not gonna help here. I should find our leader. Put an end to this. What are you doing there? Allah! <laughs> Without a leader, the rebels should abandon this place. But we could always deal with them now. Get away. The rebels are dead.
won't there be one here? I should find our leader. Put an end to this. Get out there and look. That senior with the heavy armor must be the leader of the bunch. Halt, oh, Outlander! I need this. Leader might have some tags. I should check.
I should check if the leader has any tax. I need to check the leader for tax. I should check the leader for tax. I need to check the leader for tax. I'm still in this fight. Hey. I should check if there's anything with a lock around here. Chest. I think I found a key. All of these tags. I'm gonna keep them for now until I figure out what to do with them. Without a leader, the rebels should abandon this place. But I could always deal with them now. By the way, I'm done here.
Mm, not just full, but my pack has room. Thank you.